Forge is the most popular mod loader for Minecraft 1.19.3 and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to download and install it. Now I'm not going to show you exactly how to install mods in this video but I'm going to show you how to access your mods folder and we'll talk about a few things that you need to know before you get mods towards the end of the video. But before we can do anything we need to of course get Forge and Forge is the mod loader that is used by a lot of amazing Minecraft mods. There are two main mod loaders in Minecraft, Forge and Fabric. Like I said, we're going to be getting Forge today. Now, in the description down below, you want to go to this second link, the breakdown.xyz slash Forge. And when you come to this link, it will take you here. This is important because this video, I can guarantee, will work for all of 2023 and probably beyond. How can I guarantee that? Because if this video doesn't work, this article will. We always keep this article and the video at the top up to date for the newest Minecraft version. The time I'm recording this, it's 1.19.3, but we know 1.20 is on the way, and it might be 1.24 if things go crazy by the end of 2023. So because of that, we want to make sure that this is always up to date to the newest Minecraft version release. So if you do have issues with this specific video, go watch the one on the website because that'll help you. You've also got something to let you go at your own pace. Minecraft Forge is not hard to install, but a lot of people prefer to read, myself included, actually. And, well, that's why this is here. Super in-depth, how to download Forge, how to install Forge. Once you've got Forge, how to play Minecraft with Forge, and then even how to install Forge mods. So we're not going to be going over this part in-depth in the video. We have it in this article here, and it covers everything. It's simple, two steps. Download the mod and install them, and that covers everything. We've also got troubleshooting issues and even some Forge frequently asked questions here to really help you out. So that is an in-depth guide. It's the reason. There's a reason that it is truly the most in-depth guide for getting Forge on the internet, so go check that out. But what about this video? Well, we're going to show you how to do it in this video as well. And first things first is, once you're on our website, just click on this yellow Download Forge button towards the top. That will then take you to Forge's official website, where on the left-hand side, you can navigate between every single Minecraft Forge version I believe ever made, or at least made since 1.1 at the time I'm recording this. For this video, we're going to go with the most recent version, so 1.19 and then 1.19.3. If you want to do download, for example, the 1.12.2 version, you would click there and click on it. Now, I can't necessarily guarantee this will work for older versions. Sometimes Java, and we'll talk about Java here in a second, but sometimes Java doesn't really like these older versions and you need other versions of Java and things like that. I can guarantee you though that the most recent version will work. So here we are, 1.19.3 Forge. Once you're here, come under either Download Latest or Download Recommended. It really doesn't matter. Sometimes Download Recommended is a bit more stable, but Download Latest will get you more bug fixes. We're going to go with Latest in this case. Then it will take you off to Add Focus, where stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. When you land on that page, after you click on the Installer button, just basically put your hands in the air for about 10 seconds. Then after about 10 seconds, click on the red Skip button that appears in the top right. That's it, just click the red skip button that appears in the top right after about 10 seconds. When you click on that, it's gonna download Forge in the bottom left of Google Chrome or in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox or if you're on another browser, who knows? But it's gonna download Forge when you click the skip button. Now, as long as Forge is in the title, you're safe to keep that or save it depending on your browser. Google Chrome, you keep it in the bottom left and Firefox, you save it in the center of your screen. Any other browser, I don't know, but feel free to just save it because as long as Forge is in the title, you're good to go. Now, if we go ahead and minimize our browser here, we'll notice that it's nowhere to be found. And it's actually going to be found in our downloads folder. To access that, click the little Windows icon on the top left. And then in some cases, you'll be able to search downloads and you'll have a downloads folder here. For some reason, that broke for me a few weeks ago. So we need to go to File Explorer here. And then it's in the left-hand sidebar here. Or if you scroll down to this PC, you can access your downloads folder. Once you click on your downloads folder, you have Forge. Drag this to your desktop. Now, if your Forge doesn't look like mine, that's okay. Let's try to open it anyway. To do that, right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, here's what you do. It's the same thing that's going to fix those Forge icons and make them look like mine. To do that, you want to download Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft 1.19.3, I believe all the way back to 1.17, getting mods, servers, up and running, Java 17 is required. And guess what? We've got a video on it. We've also got an in-depth text tutorial on it that again goes over everything step-by-step -step for getting Java. Once you've got Java, you may also need to run the jar fix. What this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. We've got a video coming soon on this, as well as, of course, an in-depth article that is here to help you out and get things up and running for 
Jarfix. Once you've got the Jarfix ran, you've got Java, we can minimize our browser, it's time to install Forge. To do that, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That'll open up the mod system installer for Forge, where all you've got to do is click Install Client and click OK. Now, there actually are a few reasons that this might not work. The first is if you have Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open. If either of those are open, you need to go close out of them. Once you close out of them, reopen up Forge and go through that installation process again, right? Clicking install. The other reason this might not work is if you've never played the vanilla version of Minecraft that you're installing Forge for. Vanilla version means absolutely no mods, nothing. Just the latest release or whatever version with no mods. For example, if you go back and try to install an older version, it's not gonna work unless you go play that version without mods and then come back and install Forge. So those are kind of the three reasons. Minecraft's open, the Minecraft launcher's open, or you've not played the Minecraft version you're trying to install Forge before without any mods. Once you've done that, you can come back here, install Forge, click OK, and it will close out of the Forge installer. Obviously, it's successful there as well. You can also delete Forge from your desktop, and we can open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, in the Minecraft launcher, you'll probably have a Forge profile right away. Most likely, you'll just be good to go, and if, you'll, if you're not, you'll just need to select it. So as you can see here, I have one right away. If you don't, click the drop down box there and select Forge from this list. Now, as you can see, mine's correct. Forge, it's the version of Forge I wanted, 1.19.3. If you have this, click play, click play to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft and you're good to go. But in some cases, you won't have Forge here. And if you don't, click on installations at the top. Now, you also probably won't have it on this list, so make sure modded is checked. As you can see, I deselected modded there. Forge is nowhere to be found. We click on modded, there is forge, click play, click play again. But if you still don't have this profile, or you do, it's just not the version you want, right? It's 1.12, or it's 1.18, and not 1.19, or in the future, 1.20. Well, let's go ahead and click new installation here. Now I'm going to name this Minecraft Forge 2023. You can name it whatever, I'm just naming it that because, well, that's what this guide is. Then we're going to go ahead and click the version drop down box here, and we want to select or release 1.19.3-Forge. Right here it is for me. You might need to scroll down to find yours. I've seen this down at Minecraft 1.0 before. I've seen it down at the very, very bottom, so feel free to just scroll through here and find Forge if it's not at the top. But there it is for me. Now we can go ahead and change our resolution. Right like so. You don't have to. I'm just doing it so you can see once we get in game. And then finally, we can click Create. Now we have this new Minecraft Forge 2023 profile that most importantly is the version of Forge we want. Hover over this, click Play, click Play again, and now Minecraft will open with Forge. Now, at this point, this video is basically complete, but I did say I was going to give you some kind of tips and guides on making sure that you get Minecraft mods effectively. First things first, make sure the version of the Minecraft mod you're downloading is for Forge. Like I said, there's two mod loaders, Forge and Fabric, so make sure you're downloading the Forge version of any mods. The second thing is make sure that mod is made for the Minecraft version that you're downloading, right? So if you are running Minecraft 1.19.3, you need to get a Forge 1.19.3 mod. The 1.19.2 mods won't work. The 1.18.2 mods won't work. Only the version that you are installing Forge for and mods for that version will work. So 1.19.3 mods will only work in 1.19.3. Those are the most common problems. If you have exit code one, if you have any issues when opening Forge again, most likely there are old mods in your mods folder. Well, how do we even go about fixing that if there are old mods in your mods folder? Well, it's pretty simple. This tutorial here is linked in the description. And while it's 116.2, it still works. It goes over exactly how to find your mods folder in Minecraft. It's helped almost 150,000 people and it will let you get to your mods folder. That is via a few different methods. One is if you can open up Forge, how to get to it there. But even if you can't, if you can't open up Minecraft, you can't open up Forge, how can you access your mods folder and remove those old mods? This video shows you how. We've also got a video in the description down below on how to fix broken Minecraft mods. This goes over everything you need to know on a bunch of different issues. It's over 18 minutes. I believe there's somebody yeah, who's timestamped that there for us. And it will show you how to fix a ton of different Minecraft Forge and modded Minecraft issues. With that being said, if you want to install mods, all you've got to do is click on mods, open mods folder, and drag and drop those mods into here. When you do that, restart Minecraft and you're good to go. But again, make sure they're for Forge and for the Minecraft version that you are installing and that you are wanting to play your mods on. Old mods will not work in newer versions and newer mods won't work in older versions. Sadly, it doesn't work like that. But nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft guides on specific versions, on 2023, specific different platforms, everything. We do so many Minecraft tutorials here. So be sure to like and subscribe for that. But my name is Nick. We'll see you in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.